Lord playing at half forward. Jonathan Robber in a centre half forward for Hawthorne. So St Kilda going right to left in the first quarter as Salmon wins and gets it down to Platten who couldn't handle. Nathan Burke gets the first kick of the game. Inside half forward. Charging at the ball. That was well done by Healy. Off to Harvey. Gets few goals but starts this game just offline. Got the wrong bounce. What at the off break. Got the leggy. And through for a minor score. Well, Robert Harvey just showed you then what I was talking about, the speed. He's able to take on his opponents very, very comfortably when running across the ground. And he did on that occasion once again. So that brilliant player always looks like he bounces over. looks tired a lot, but got amazing stamina. Chris Langford to bring the ball in. And it's a long kick over the 50-metre line. Hunts down by Everett. Low went in against Lawrence. Here's Johnny Platten chipping it to half forward. Good mark by Robin. Hands out in front. Here's Trelevin swinging onto the left foot. Craig Trelevin to the half forward line. They fly over the back and that very good full back Jamie Shanahan has taken the mark. Ben Dixon's on Shanahan so that's an interesting matchup. Out to Wakeman. His kick short of half forward. Low. Couldn't yes. quite take the mark. Wakeman against... gets the free kick. Tony Woods is going with Nathan Burke. He's played the uh, Hawthorne free kick. Daniel Harford's going with Robert Harvey. Taken by Lawrence. Burke out marks Platten. One man showing no hair under the helmet, and the other man showing more hair than anybody else in the competition. Here's Burke. Nathan Burke to the half forward line. The pack develops. Lawrence went to the punch. Harford is there. Out it comes to Crawford. Back to centre wing. It's punched away from Woods by Nathan Burke. And over the line it goes. So it's on, right on centre wing. Angelo Leckis with uh, Nicky Winmar. Or is it Brad Scott? Tony Woods paying careful attention there to Burke. Here's Harvey already getting getting his second touch, driving it to the centre of the ground. That is a very, very good mark by Ozzy Jones. Uh, is it 50? No. Jones by Hayden Kennedy on the scene now. Good play by Jones to get it moving quickly. In towards Heatley, stage for the free kick. Up by good umpiring. Low. Lawrence laid the hip and shoulder. Joel Smith got in a hand pass. Well played by Lekas. Desperation as he kicks it out towards centre wing. The race is on. And Ozzy Jones will get there first and bend it back to half forward. He finds Peckett who's been in good form. Justin Peckett in between wing and half forward for the Saints. Played most of his earlier career in the last line of defence. Up the midfield this year. Lowe couldn't take the mark comes to Thompson, tackled by Platten. Heatley loses it to Langford, kicks smothered. Lappin ripped out of Taylor's arms. Look at that contest. Lower slap up the ground. Salmon. Lekas, who was good a moment ago, this time goes for the boundary line. Well, that was a passage of play that was white hot. And there's been some terrific umpiring there. A little bit of staging going on. The umpires right onto it. Angelo Lekas in screen really did run hard at the ball. That was great to see on the half-back line. Salmon with the left hand. Richard Taylor. Taken by Harvey. Nice hand pass. Lappin. Back to Harvey. He'll get another touch. He's fourth in a couple of minutes. Oh, good mark by Lawrence. Oh, he went to play on. Very, very dangerous. Richard Taylor under pressure. Brings it out to the boundary line and puts it over. Well, he's putting pressure on Austin Jones. Richard Taylor, he's had a number of possessions. Aaron Lord on screen. Had a downer last week, Aaron Lord, after kicking six against Port Adelaide the week before. Smith taken down by Crawford. Shane Crawford out of defence, short of centre wing. Robin rip round the head. No free kick for that. Gee, where's the Hawthorne fans wanted it? Here's another touch to Robert Harvey, who concedes some ground, centres the ball, past Young it goes. Brown. They've gone from the left-hand side to the right-hand side of the ground, the Saints. Lappin. Peckett peels off him. Lappin straight to centre-half forward. Punch down was disciplined. Fumbled by Young, an ex-Hawthorne player, applying the tackle this time, and that will be a baller. 
Daniel Hartford will have to start, uh, tighten up a little bit on Robert Harvey. Gee, there's been some uh, great defensive play when there looks to be certain marks. Uh, the umpires Hayden Kennedy, Mark Prince and Darren Goldsmith, a bit of experience there. So half forward low to take on Salmon. Free kick, I think, to Salmon here over, over the shoulder. Uh, Salmon, a very vital player. He's been fantastic for the Hawks. Scott, long kick to Crummel. Oh, he just loped after it. He thought he could have been a bit quicker there. Well done. Young is caught. Robren doing all right down there. Strong tackle. And that is on Luke McKay. Lucky not to get the kick then, Jonathan Robert. He's put in a couple of terrific efforts, uh, Robin, down there in the half forward line. It's on centre wing. Slight breeze going to the left. <laughs> Salmon and Everett, a little shove out. Taylor's very hard at the ball. He in turn gets it to Platten. That was good play by Taylor. Platten a quick kick to half forward. Nice mark to Wakeland. And Wakeland will drive it to Everett in the centre of the ground. Everett, 20 metres in the clear. Oh, and he almost stubbed his toe with that one. It bounces to low. Heatley, bouncing, and just offline. Saints have opened with two behinds. If recent games are any indication, it's coming back. It's coming There's back. no score. And here is Heatley. He's just too high, as you can see there, but really... To play on in that situation. So Jason Heatley, who has gone past Dewey Low and is the leading goal scorer for the season for the Saints with 37, lining up for the first goal of the game. Got it! A very accurate kick over distance is Jason Healy. Two games ago he had a ball burst a game out here against North Melbourne. Nine of ten goals he kicked up go. And here is the build-up once again. It's going to be a bit of a problem. It's got a use by Everett there to be used in such a way. Not a good kick off the boot. And here's the free kick. It was there, but I uh, would have caught play on. First blood to the Saints, they lead by seven points. Everett and Salmon. Salmon won it. Socket off the ground. Out towards half forward for the Hawks. The bounce beats Pecker. Kick forward by Mark Graham. He was looking for Crummel. Good play by Crummel. Dixon is caught. Robin did well. Tony Woods a chance from 40 metres. Woods heads for goal. Hooks it across his body. And I think there'd be a two or three goal breeze. Judging by the kicking, certainly favouring left of screen. Saints have it in the first quarter. Kick in short. And Tony Brown still in the back pocket. This is the important kick, Drew, what they do with the second. And Everett once again got himself in space. He set up the last goal. Centre of the ground, Jones. Ozzy Jones, he's really stepped up this year and played state football. Low! Gee, that's a good mark, isn't it? Excellent. One grab. That's a phenomenal one-touch grab. He goes for distance and hooks it. And kicks it behind. Once upon a time, he would not have been able to make that distance, Stuart, though. He's still pretty iffy with his kicking. Oh, uh, yeah. Last Saturday. But still, no. that's not a bad one, Pete. I mean, he's let that go from nearly 56 metres out. Yeah, but he didn't look like scoring a goal, did it? There's Stanley Elps, the uh, coach up the back. The Hawks through Lekas. He's kicked it straight. It's holding up in the breeze, but it's grabbed by Everett. Everett bends it back. Oh, good mark to Heatley. No doubt about that one. It's a very good mark. Figuring prominently early in the game, Heatley. So Heatley is a very good kick for goal also. He will kick for his second from about 30 metres. Two weeks ago he kicked nine against North Melbourne. Yes, I saw that game and I 
I'm repeatedly amazed why he couldn't get a game with the Eagles when they've had full forward problems for or goal scoring problems for a number of years. Yeah. Only, couple, only games he played, he was on for about 15, 20 minutes and then whisked off. So his second uh, goal may be coming up here. Jason Heatley, nice relaxed action, and he puts it through. Heatley has kicked his second, and the Saints have started very, very well. Yes, I suppose a little bit of lax marking on Hawthorne's part here. Lekas figuring. Here's the turnover. Well done by Everett. And you can see the distance in which he is able to run at the ball. Hitley. He's been picked up by Langford. Langford quite away from his man. Peter Everett has set up the two goals St Kilda have scored. He's taken three marks already. Salmon out of the middle. Harford on the run, 49 metres out. Good kick. Kick battles down there with Zilla. Interesting forward set up for Hawthorne. Chick virtually at full forward and being picked up by a man who's virtually a rover. And Winmar takes the ball over the boundary line and will have a throw in at half forward. Well, you could see that kick in there uh, by Harper held up in the breeze. So there is definitely a two or three goal breeze left of screen. So it's interesting what they've done here, Peter, this boundary throw. And Thompson, who's going with Platten, has gone down to the forward line to take Platten out of the action. Harvey's gone down there to take Harford out of the action, and Burke has done the same, taking Woods out of the action. Brown and Winmar combining. Oh, it's tapped out to Salmon. That was beautiful football. Back it comes to Lord. Further afield. This is Scott from the boundary line. Oh, that's a beautiful kick. What about that for a goal? Well, he has threaded that through. Like needle and thread, that one, Johnny. Well set up by Salmon too, Peter. As we see on the replay here, there's a great tackle by Scott initially. Now well set up here by Salmon. Lord just gets it in. And there he is figuring once again after that tackle. And that is an excellent shot for a goal. Beautiful shot. Well, he's not really a goal scorer, Scott. That was just his fifth goal in league football, but what a beauty. Bit of a wrestle with Winmar as they uh, take their position on the wing. Everett setting up again. Burke, long kick to the goal square. Langford gets back. He's been a champion for a long, long time. It's great to see him back in football, Chris Langford, playing his fourth game for the year and 299th career game. Salmon can't mark. Burke flips the ball up. He's got the hand pass. Crawford. Back it comes to Woods. Short of half forward. Excellent mark. Dragged down by Justin Peckett. Well, he played a great game uh, against the Adelaide Crows last Saturday night as well. He's been in very good form. Justin Peckett. Better known as a back pocket player, but uh, has been playing on the wing this year. That's right, and he's uh, certainly showed he's got a lot of ability too. Nice kick too down the corridor. Low is there. Over the back is Lawrence. McKay did well. Kicks it to the wide open spaces and just bounces before the line. Throw in on centre wing. So Hawthorne have steadied. They're down by seven points as we see Kenny Judge up the back and they're being very demonstrative. Former runner George Stone in the middle and John Hook. He's still chairman of selectors, Don John Hook, or no, football manager. So here's Trelevin. On to Harford. Well played by Rob Harvey. Goes in to get it again. He's caught. Gets in a hand pass. Finds Everett. Everett's going to kick long. Racing back with the flight. His Langford. The bounce is important. He's got to be careful or helps it on its way for a behind. Good play by Langford. A rush behind of the Saints. The best thing about George Stone not being the runner anymore, he doesn't have to wear those iridescent green shorts. Those shorts are now belonging to Scott McGuinness. Scott, who retired last year, operates a chiropractic business at Somerville and on the Hawthorne. There's Daniel Harford, who will do things at both ends of the ground for the Hawks. Kicks in, not very well. Just got to the 50. 
So a chance here for St Kilda. Robbie Harvey weaves through them. Everett has been fantastic. Kick a goal, Pete. Just missed it. Oh, bad miss. He's really putting the uh, pressure on Paul Salmon, Peter Everett. He's becoming a usable player. And Kenny Judge not looking too happy in the box. I mean, they could have been punished a couple of times with goals. Harvey gave that one to Everett on a plate. Now, Daniel Harford, all dangerous, finds Leckers, two players from the old Northern Knights, who are now the Preston Knights, of course. They played in prem Premiership together. Angelo Leckers drive to the half-back line. Crawford caught behind. Taken away by Lappin. Quick hand pass comes back towards McCabe, who helps it on its way. It's a real talent, Lappin. Some real talent. He came in off the bench earlier for uh, St Kilda in the earlier game and was really instrumental in turning that game here at Waverley. 50 metres out from the St Kilda goal. Lawrence won that hit out. Here's Thompson. Coming on him. Oh, that was nearly around the neck there to Taylor. The umpire is going to bounce it. Way out at half forward for the Saints and they lead 2-4 to 1-1. Hawthorne at this stage pretty much in touch midway through the first term. Low wins for the Saints, but Trelevin gets it over the line. Well, going on previous games, you'd reckon this might be pretty low scoring. In round one, when the Hawks beat the Saints by six points, it was 11 goals to 10. Stewie Low wins in ruck again, gets it inside 50. Platten back to Lekas. Lekas has been good early. Half it off the left. Short of centre wing. Robin juggles, can't mark, but follows on with it. Gets the ball over the boundary line and, and has been penalised for it. He's pinned for being uh, deliberate there. Did all the work in that. It's a hard one, isn't it? Well, let's have a look at it. He's a long way from that boundary line. Oh. <laughs> well, the, tree, the mistake he made, he went straight. Now, Here's Brown getting a quick hand pass. Clatton dragged off the ball. A free kick to John Clatton as the ball had gone loose. Is he paying the advantage? He is, the umpire. So that's good umpire. As it comes out to centre wing, half had brought it out there to Graham. And Mark Graham has marked on centre wing. Well started in the back line last week. Moved forward, Graham, and has started down forward this week. Look at that ball holding up again. Joel Smith surrounded by Hawks. Robin throwing his weight round up there. That's good play. Also good play by Harford to keep it in. Lord is there also to tap it over the line. So the Hawks done are working very, very hard. Well, they're not capitalising on the scoreboard, Pete. Grey and overcast. Cool day in Melbourne, but perfect for football. Robin wins in ruck. Woods. Bit slick for Platten. Graham on the forward line, taking the place of Holland. Well done, Platten to centre. Salmon! Oh, he's Should dragged out. Quick kick. kick to Salmon. Yeah, around the neck. There was a good positioning of the body by Salmon. I just didn't think he'd get to that position, but he did in the final outcome. There he is. And he was dragged down. Certainly 50, draw 50 metres. Yes, 50, so he'll be right on the goal line. A certain goal to Hawthorne. Oh, well, Peter Everett has been sensational. He's taken three marks and had five kicks. Set up a couple of goals, but he's given one away here. Yes, well, now it's a gimme when you, you know certainly to kick it from 30, are you? No. The ball Salmon, he knows how to kick a goal. Over 500. Well, with that uh, goal as it goes through, lays a bit of it will come on, and Peter Everett no doubt will go off. Whether it's disciplinary or whether they're making a change at the appropriate time of the quarter, there's a free kick. So I think it was mouthing off that 50 metres, uh, uh, disagreeing with the decision. Now here's that, they're making a change now, a bit of it going down forward, Everett staying on the ball. And coming off is uh, Jason Healy. So, Harvey again with a hand pass, finds Thompson. 
Thompson drives it down to full forward and well judged by Langford. We're getting your Healy's and Heatley's mixed up there. Daniel Healy. Healy off, I'm sorry. Yeah, Healy off. Now Vitovic on the ground and Everett's gone down forward as we go to centre wing and half has taken a good mark. Great mark. Here's Shane Crawford. To half forward he goes. Crummel goes to ground. Young takes the mark. Floats it inside to Hudson. Sits pretty well for him. Max from Queensland. To the centre circle. Ozzie Jones has been fantastic. But McCabe did well. Back to Salmon. To Levin. Graham. Long way out from goal. Gets a bad bounce. And Wakeland slaps it away from him. Jones fumbles. Crummel. The whistle's gone. It's going to be a St Kilda free kick. And it's coming to Lappin. Uh, Matthew Lappin, uh, half back for the hoots of the Hawthorne supporters. As Lappin being grabbed by the arm, and set, certainly the umpire was correct. Here's Shane Crawford. Gee, the Hawks have lifted here. Now he's running around the man on the mark, and a wobbly kick to half forward. The bounce important. Well done by Young. Strong work. Oh, look at the tackling. Well played, the Hawks, as they charge in. Three of them came in. I think it was Lappin at the bottom of the pack. It was. Young would be anxious to do well today. He started his career at Hawthorne. That's Matthew Young. He's playing on the half-back flank. And wearing number 20 for St Kilda, which was made famous by one Travis Page. Wakeland doing the ruck work. Hunch further field by Ozzie Jones. Platten is there. He comes back into the fray. Gives it to Trelevin. Robert Trelevin. Good team play. Half forward for the Hawks, but the mark, a timely mark, taken by Daryl Wakeman. He's going all right, Wakeman, taking three marks. A 50 metre penalty will take Wakeman down towards the centre of the ground. Darren Kepler's on, he's being picked up, or he's picking up Justin Pickett. Interesting to see where they're going to play Kepler, forward or midfield. And he replaced Lekas, which is a bit of a surprise. He'd had seven touches, Angelo Lekas. There's Young, half back to half forward. The punch came from behind low. Scott was there. Thompson a good hand pass. Smith. And Everett. Beauty it was just... playing in front. Well, I said once before earlier this season, he's like a little girl. He's either very good or horrid. Well, he's playing in front here, and Mark Graham has started down forward. It was caught napping. So Everett helped himself to a goal. Which partly levels up the one he gave to Salmon. Ken's judge not happy. And Thompson off and coming on for St Kilda is Jason Cripps. And Cripps is going to go with Platten. And here's the build up once again. And again, when there's pressure up midfield, they can't deliver the ball in the way they'd like down forward, the midfielders. But if you're in front, you can always capitalise, and he did on that occasion, Peter Everett. Well, the margin is nine points in favour of the Saints. And it's Vitovic to take on Salmon. Salmon wins it. Harper drives it to the half forward line. The race is on. Hudson is pretty quick. He gets away easily from Robin. Over to Harvey, who's had another excellent start to a game. Robert Harvey onto the left foot. It's a wobbly one. He kicks to three players. Two of them are Hawthorne. Kicked in midair by Platten. And the mark has been taken by Justin Pickett. He can give it off. This is Cripps. Cripps will drive it to the half forward line. Low is there. Can't mark. He flew through the air. Here's Ozzie Jones. He's going to bend it back. Oh, great shot at goal by Jones. He's kicked it, I think. Yes. Put that down as a candidate for goal of the season. What a brilliant goal to Ozzie Jones. 4 4 now, the Saints. 2 1 the Hawks. Well, here is the build-up. Low flying. He's got Mark Graham against him there. Here running towards the boundary line is Jones. And you can see there on camera how he held the ball across his body. That was an excellent snap over the left shoulder. And he can kick those left foot or right foot. Max Hudson. Trouble for Hudson being carried off for the Saints. They go forward to the 50, but for 11 stands his ground to take the mark. So currently St Kilda one man down. Thompson about to come back on. Graham. Out to the wing to Harford. Well done, Harford. Off 
the ground goes Smith and the ball out of play. Hutchton leaving the ground unceremoniously. And Thompson, who'd been benched, wins a reprieve after a minute or two. Boundary throw in takes place right in front of them. Salmon. What a task for Fidevi in the ruck in his first game against Paul Salmon. Soccer off the ground by Scott, gains a few metres, ball out. Well, he's a, Brad Scott is a very determined char character. There's uh, Max Hudson and holding the back of his thigh. I wonder if that's a hamstring. Here's a free kick. The that's umpire. against Winmar, I believe, or was it against Cripps? They started a little bit of pushing and shoving. And they're, and they're playing it up the ground. I think slightly. it's against Winmar. Yeah, and playing it up the ground to Harford. Harford in towards half forward. Chip couldn't mark. They go in hard for it at half forward. Richard Taylor, gee, he's a tough little fellow. Well, he has Taylor. improved, uh, Peter. He's playing with a lot more confidence. He was a bit of a touch player last year, but he's certainly putting his body in now. And he's one of those many players that's had a knee uh, reconstruction, yes, and, so it's uh, a good effort. It was very debatable whether they'd keep Hawthorne, Dermot Burton or Richard Taylor. When Burton made a comeback at Hawthorne a couple of years ago, they decided not to draft Burton and went for Taylor, and Burton went off to Collingwood. Trelevin trying to tap it forward. Tony Woods, oh, taken away by Harvey. Here's Thompson. He's given it straight to Crawford. Crawford's got time to steady an ordinary kick, but it might come up because Mark Graham's waiting for it. He should be kicking long here. Oh, you're gone. That's holding the ball. That's very poor play by Mark Graham, not to be aware of the players around him. And also Shane Crawford had too long to do what, what to think with the ball, and consequently, now that's under the blood rule. They have to go yeah. off, Nicky. Yes, the, the tackler came off second best. But uh, look at that. And there's no, a I'll... clash of head on the back of the head on the nose, and Winmar immediately holding that nose. The one, of the things, do her. one of the things with football, you must be aware of what's coming around you. Near time to sort of quickly look. Whereas a body should have grabbed it and kicked it long. Winmar taking his time to get off the ground, but he get one of those across the bridge of the nose and he'd be seeing stars. You see, he could have broken his nose too. So Jones takes the free kick for Winmar, just short of the 50. Crawford, good to see him back. Trouble with his ankle all season. Crumble, that's a mark. Excellent play by Crawford, the way he broke, used his speed and delivered the ball to a very good mark. Here's Darren Kapler, started the game on the bench. This is what he's there for, to kick left footers. Touched right on the line by Wakeland. And again, that held up just slightly in the breeze to there's uh, Nicky Winmar, as Don said, he may have, could easily have a broken nose there, but was certainly bleeding profusely. Scores are exactly double. 28 plays 14. If Kepler can't make the distance, yep. well, there's, uh, there certainly is a breeze. Zilla to half-back. Ozzie Jones, they love to run the ball, the Saints. This is Jason Cripps, no one in front of him. Only the one bounce, an ordinary kick by Cripps, has given Hawthorne a chance. Harvey is there with Lowe. And uh, that was really, that's the one area Jason Cripps game, Don, that he has to improve, and that's his delivery. And the movement of Everett down at the forward line really has caused problems for Hawthorne. They've had to take Graham from forward down back. Lawrence now on Everett. Salmon beats Vitovic. Comes to Harvey, another touch for him, but he's wasted one for a change. But Robert Harvey's had seven kicks already and 12 possessions, but fancy him putting that one out. Leads the competition in uh, possessions, averages 28.6 a game. There's Lazar, good mark. Saints lead by 14 points, two minutes remaining in the first term. Hand pass back to Healy. Low swamp. Crawford good roving. Gains some ground and gets it to the 50. That's an excellent kick, wasn't it, under pressure? It was. He looked up and he had no one to give it to, so he elected to keep it low around the boundary line, knowing it would go out. 50 metres out from the Saints goal. Low and Langford. Low won it. Harvey at the back lays the tackle on Taylor. Here's Nathan Burke. Burke chips it in. 
and he finds Thompson at half forward. Now Thompson is only 30 metres out. He's right on the boundary line. He had an excellent game last week against Adelaide Thompson, a real goer from the amateurs drafted this year. Andrew Thompson will bring the house down, but he's kicked it across, and Salmon is there to help it on its way over the line. And uh, there's Stanley Elves. Uh, didn't look too happy with that. Uh, because they've had a lot of the play. Uh, you'd think they'd be further in front. There's Paul Tomei, the runner, former player. Harvey comes over the back. Here's Mark Graham. Oh, danger because John Smith. Oh, smothered magnificently. That was Lawrence. Well played, big Stephen Lawrence. Taken by Taylor. Taylor bends it out towards the centre wing area. Plummel and Young. Young's had the better of that duel. Burke. Oh, magnificent play to keep it in. It allows Thompson to bring it in front of goal. Put this down to Burke. No, it's a point, but if they'd have got a goal, you would have marked it down to Burke. And Steve Lawrence defending like a man possessed twice in a minute. He is uh, he's developing into a very good set-up back, Stephen Lawrence. Yes. I mean, he's not a tough opponent, isn't he? No. In, in but low. but uh, in the ruck, you know, played in the Premiership in 91. He was at the Best peak of his ground. form. Peak of his form, yeah. Woods to Crawford. And Shane Crawford really getting back in business. That's nine possessions. Woods. Oh. Lovely old kick. Healy. Crunched by Langford well up the ground. Lucky not to give away a free kick then, Chris Langford. Healy over the ball. Gee, he's not happy, Kenny Judge, but that, that kick from Tony Woods was a shocker, wasn't it? And a shocking spindle. Now the umpire having a word with Salmon saying, blood off rule. you go. Gee, this blood rule <laughs> might be on his knee, I think. There's Cal Moore, a former great fullback on the left of the screen. So Robin having to come on and uh, or go into the ruck. Jason Dunstall there too. Jade Rawlings on the ground for Hawthorne replacing Salmon. Well, he has got a bit of a scratch on the knee. And this is coming at a bad time for the Hawks, just in time for a baller. Well, it's on centre wing. There's only uh, 13 seconds to go. That's Vitovic bringing it down towards the half forward line. Oh, danger here. Langford. Taken by Brown. Oh, gee, they are. They may score a goal. That could be 50. Low will kick from 45 metres, maybe a little bit further by the time he kicks it. So, Salmon going up with that blood rule might have made a difference. Absolutely. Vitovic wins the tap against Robin instead of having to beat Salmon. Right, that's true. And Stewie Low, what can he do? 4 5 to 2 2 at the moment. His kicking has improved over the last couple of years, but this is a decent kick, 45 metres, but directly in front. A big kick coming up. It's not bad. I think he's goal. Beautiful kick. So what a handy one to the Saints on quarter time. They go in with an extra six points in a quarter time here at Waverley. They lead 5-5-35 the Saints to Hawthorne 2-2-14. Salmon will be going crook about that, I reckon. Oh, about the blood rule in the last minute. That cost him a goal. Well, the second quarter about to get underway here at Waverley. The Saints, after first use of the breeze, leading by 21 points. And now the Hawks have it. Salmon back in the ruck after he missed the last minute and it cost them a goal at the end of the first quarter. Hurried kick by Brown. Jones swamped by Taylor. Free kick to Jones. Advantage to Harvey. Harvey's kick to Healy. 
Good pick up, Daniel Healy. Winmar hasn't been in it yet. Thompson. Could be a great goal into the wind. What a kick by Thompson. Just the start the Saints wanted. And it's good to see Thompson registering. He's a really a hard worker. Ball being turned over. Pretty tough in there, tight. Not tough in the physical sense, but tough in as much as getting a clean possession away. And then Thompson latches onto his first goal. He kicked one goal against Adelaide last week. A great start to the second term by the Saints. A handy four and a half goal break. Salmon and Everett. Salmon wins it. The Woods. Woods a 20 metre hand pass. Wakeland is there. Robin's got him. And I think the umpire will over too high. In fact, in the end, he got him around the neck against Robin. The initial tackle was good, then his arm slipped up. Here's Matthew Young. He's racing away from halfback, a former Hawk. Drives at the half forward. Salmon is there. Well played by Langford. Quick kick, though. Goes straight to Joel Smith. Danger here for Hawthorne. Because once this guy gets it, he's a slippery customer. Look at that. Down towards full forward. Oh, Lawrence went without it. They're under enormous pressure. Winmar on low. Is it another one? I, no, he's missed. Low thought he kicked it, but he should have. And, gee, they fumbled there, the Hawks. Well, it was initially trapped by Lawrence, and he just couldn't control it. You a good horse today, Don. Bit of coaching this morning. Like <laughs> oh, you rev them up or something. Yes, the vocal cords took a bashing this morning at <laughs> Somerville. And here it is, the replay. Lekas in there, also Lawrence, and Lowe should have really kicked this ball. So Trelevin kicks in, clears the 50. Thompson, what a debut season for him. Great goal that was into the breeze. Ozzy Jones, a good pick up on the half volley. Smith. 40 metres from goal. Crawford just a little bit too far away from Smith. And that's what Langford's saying to him too. He said, Do you get on your man, I had mine covered. So here's Joel Smith. This would be a dream start to the second term for the Saints. Not a great kick. Right? Fell over the line. the Saints are concerned. As you can see, they're on the scoreboard, 14-48. A margin of 34 points. Thompson once again involved. And Jones gets it across to Smith. Now, no Crawford, just nowhere to be seen. Good shepherding by Heatley. Now, if they had a tall man on the line here, now look at that. Not one tall player on the line. It would have been touched for sure. That's Scott against Everett. Well, it might be old-fashioned defence I'm talking about, but I think we always had a tall man on the line in case that ball does drop short. There's Trelevin. Harvey, a good tackle. Well played by Harvey. Oh, he went without it. Trelevin trying to get in. He didn't really try to get it out. And the umpire will come in and bounce. Rob Harvey getting a few pats on the back from his teammates. Harvey in the first term had 12 possessions. If he kept that up for a game, he'd have 48. Did you teach maths at school? How did you like that for mathematics, too? I wish you'd taught me. I, I was never any good. I couldn't have worked that out. Salmon and Everett. Salmon. Rucking well. Gets it down to Woods. Robin and Wakeland. Still Robin and Wakeland. Wakeland still going. Thompson to Harvey. To the half-forward line and low. He couldn't hang on to it. Brown receives from Lappin. No, it's a free kick back here to low at half-forward. He was interfered with going for that mark. A big danger sign as far as Hawthorne are concerned here. The Saints getting on top. The chip across will be marked. It's not Rob Harvey again. Oh, he got the knees in the back there. Well, half it is his immediate opponent, Pete. Just wondering about why wasn't there no advantage there? The free kick went back to low when the Saints were running in to kick a goal. Now, they might get a goal out of this. So Rob Harvey's chipping it in towards that hole at half forward. Nathan Burke is there. He's got it, the little fella. He bends it back. 
and a little bit too far and one behind only. Seen advantages played in a lot worse situations than that where there was no clear advantage. There is the free kick. He might have been hit his head. Didn't look like to be much in the contact no. when he went to ground. Saints by 35 points. Hawks had better start using this breeze for 11's kick in. They're going for distance but losing the ball, Hawthorne. Thompson back to Peckett. Peckett. Well, once again, Joel Smith meters in the clear. Any of Madison killed the players there, but it wasn't a great kick off the left. Lawrence taps to Scott. And I Brent's can't believe Crawford on that occasion. Sorry, draws the ball. Picked up by Young. Go on, Scotty. Well, he's so far away from Smith. Here's Lappin. Draws a man. Finds Everett. Kicks round seven. Healy! Almost. Ball over the line. A behind. When you're in a situation at Hawthorne and you really got to go and start with your opponent, let's ride the ship and start with your opponent, then make it a contest and see if you can claw your way back into the game. So Chris Langford to bring in. Bring the ball in, that is. He'll be told to hurry up in a second. Yes, he's getting the whistle now. Now he'll have to hurry or they'll bounce it. He's got the warning. And he brings it down to half back. That's no mark. A chance for the Hawks here to lay a tackle on low. Still low going on with it. But now a loose ball to Platten. Here's a chance for Hawthorne. The chip pass in towards half forward. Underneath it was Graham. He's got it on his left, but he's quick. He races into an open goal, steps it low and puts it through. That's better play by the Hawks. They need a couple of them. Well, a lot of people were riding that one through. It didn't look like it had to carry. It bounced in the square, and then the problem was which way it would break. But at least he's in front, Graham. Point Followed up Mark well. Olsen from Glen Iris. And there's a ball Olsen bouncing in the square. And he just the happened to sit in the office. And wouldn't Mark Graham be loving a bit of that? Freed from full back after the return of Langford, and there he is. Up the ground, kicking a left foot goal on the run. He kicked a couple of goals from fullback too, Joe. Yep. Oh, Robert Harvey. Saints definitely winning at midfield. Here's Winmar. Inside 50. Healy. And Daniel Healy had very few chances for the Saints. Everett gets 20 metres in the clear again. And Peter Everett, with one major glitch, is playing a blinder. Well, the seven's back in the square, in the circle. It takes a lot of concentration by Salmon to go with Everett, and Everett's really exposing him at the moment. Kepler coming on as Crummel goes off for Hawthorne. Kepler going down forward. Peter Everett going for his second goal. Saints on fire in this third quarter. He's got it. you can counter it is to go with your opponent or Salmon when the opportunity presents itself is to go down forward and become the dominant player but at the moment it's Everett who is the dominant player it's well done also by Healy to spot Everett so Everett has gone back to the center he's kicked two Salmon Go against him. They both go early. Salmon wins it, but Robert Harvey again drives it forward. Oh, good mark to Crawford. Well, Shane Crawford playing in defence can kick it wide here. He's going to run off and belt it out towards uh, Langford against Lowe. He can run off. Oh, his pants. He's oh, lost it. The ball. Or did he or handball it? He must have dropped it. He didn't get the hand good pass Second in. effort by Stuart Lowe. Good effort by Lowe. Oh, he handballed it. So it was a bad decision by the umpire. It's a mark to the Saints. Nicky Winmar, Heatley has already kicked two. Well, that was poor umpiring before when a guy obviously handballed it and he's pinged him for holding the ball. But Pete, 
we not, the umpire hasn't got the aid of the uh, of the camera. And my on. initial thing oh, was, stop sticking. Look, I the umpire thought, was ten metres away. I thought there was a dropping the ball decision. I didn't see the hands. Well, you're up in the grandstand. The umpire, there are three of them out there, and he was ten metres away and paid holding the ball. Come on, Heatley from directly in front. Has he kicked his third? I don't think he has. He's missed. I wonder with that attitude you didn't win a brand line medal, Don. Here's the incident once again. To me, that wasn't a real clear. That was a handball. It might have been in hindsight, and we've got the aid of the camera, but initially looking at it, there wasn't a true hand pass action. Oh. I reckon he was dead stiff. Anyway, we'll probably see it on a few highlights for the season in weeks to come. Langer showing his underpants to the crowd. Here's Crawford, good running by Lekas, who finished the first term on the bench. Lord got an awkward hand pass. Taylor, with distance, breeze behind. Chick hasn't been in it yet. Lost a boot. Goes after it with one boot. Well done, Jamie Shanahan. Winmar centre wing. Nicky comes again. And gets a free kick. So Winmar way out on centre wing. Low has marked outside 50. Good play. He's getting on with the game. He's looking for Heatley. Langford and Heatley. Lapham is there. And uh, they are on top nearly everywhere at the moment, the Saints, as Lapham has marked 30 metres out directly in front. And the problem for Hawthorne, Don, is when it goes down the other end, they just don't seem to have the firepower. No, you're dead right, Pete. You are dead right. And the ball's rebounding from half-back. But Lappin is a very, very good young player. Well, he's kicking Bagal from directly in front. I think he's missed. Well, they're letting the Hawks off the hook. They should be a lot further in front. 18 shots to five. Yes, a kick 3-5 in this quarter. Hawthorne kicking long with the breeze in this quarter, but it hasn't always come off because they haven't always won the ball. McCabe has it this time. Up to centre wing. That's a good mark to Robin under pressure from Wakeham. Kick by Robin to Salmon. That's good by Salmon because that puts the pressure on Everett. And he hoists it very high. They want Chick to climb and mark. He punches down. Young concedes it behind. Well, you've got to get... Look, the number one thing about forward play, Don, you must get in front of your opponent. Now, well, you Chick... did, but Chick was behind, but at least he did the right thing when he was caught behind. He punched it down forward, thought... didn't he? Did you think I thought he dropped the mark? We see Young kick it out to the half-back line, and the mark's taken by Zilla. I hate seeing forwards behind when it's driven in the forward line. Oh, he's gone, he's, he's gone, he's really gone. He's gone, lapping, he gets in a hand pass. Young... Pickett. Brown, he's dropped the mark, but he's got heaps of time to go and get it again. These young players combining. Here's Ozzy Jones tucking under the shoulder. Has a bounce. Hand pass to Smith, who's caught now. That is holding the ball. Well, he probably didn't have a lot of time to get rid of it. Leckis. Crawford. Woods waited for it. What a dangerous play that. Here's Harford. Smothered by Healy was fantastic. Hand pass from Kepler to McCabe. McCabe goes wide to Scott. Now let's see what they can do. The lead is on to Chick. That's better. Good lead. In front and go at it. Well, he needed it. He hasn't had a touch up until now. Yes, he's been uh, well held. But he, 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 at his height, Don, he's got a lead, doesn't he? Well, it's a, it's a small forward line, and Hawthorne want the ball brought in very, very quickly into the forward line. So, Daniel Chick, he's on a tough little customer down there in Stephen Zilla. 45-degree angle, and he will have to kick it 45 metres. They need a goal, the Hawks. It's close. Might have just missed. Yes. And goals are badly needed. Uh, 
there's uh, the Brains Trust, the Hawthorne Brains Trust, and they're worried because they're down by six goals. If I was chick, I might get ready to come off. Crummel's about to come on. Here's Tony Brown through midfield. In the direction of Lowe. Oh, great mark, Stewie Lowe. He had a man in front and a man behind, and he plucked it clean. Send it long, quick. Across half forward he goes. Wake one up from defence. Too far out to score. It's really rubbing salt in the room when the centre half back comes up. Crummel on and chick off. Wakeland's kick to the point of the square. Low is there. Everett as well. Salmon beats Everett this time. Goes for the short pass out of defence. Luke McKay. And McKay, he gives it off. This is Daniel Harper driving at the centre wing. Wakeland is there. Courageous attempt. Kapler appealing for the free kick. Kicked away by Young over the line. Now we're throwing on centre wing. That's an excellent mark by Lowe. You can see there Lekas in front and Lawrence endeavouring to punch the ball, but still low with his big bolt. Well, he has taken four marks today. There's a quick kick by Hassel. Young. Oh, he's well on top in on that half back line. Good mark by Joel Smith. Gee, they've got a good blend of uh, exciting players, the Saints. To half forward, low again against Lawrence. They get it to the ground. Still Stewie low. Oh, caught high. No free kick. Harford. Around the boundary line it goes. Peckett will try and keep it in. Oh, brilliantly done to Joel Smith. Fantastic play by Peckett. Lappin. He tunnel balls him. Robert. Oh, almost threw it away. Lawrence went without it. Platten. Scott gets it to Lickers. Advantage paid. A long kick will find Richard Taylor on centre wing. The Hawks desperately need a goal. Here's Crawford getting away from Everett. Everett, good chase. Ran him to the boundary line. Young drops a mark. Graham for his second goal. Well, it gives the Hawthorne supporters something to cheer about. It's only their third goal. Two of them are coming from Graham. Here's Crawford getting away from his man. Crawford's with Joel Smith. And it just so happens that Mark Graham's in the right place at the right time in front of that pack. Seven and a half minutes until half time, and the Hawks could do another three, I reckon. Thirty points the margin. Saints in front. Brown to Harvey. Rob Harvey drives it long. A beautiful kick. Lowers there. That's a mark in front to Heatley. Gee, they've got some firepower now. They've got a double prong to attack. In fact, they've got more than a double prong. They've got a couple of dangerous little fellas up there too. Luke Beveridge coming off and coming off, coming on and coming off is Jason Healy. But the beauty of this is Daniel the way they Heal brought Daniel. 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 You get your he Healy's and Heatley's mixed up. Daniel Healy. So Jason Heatley about to kick for goal from 35 metres. Oh, he's hit the post. And again, the Hawks are let off the hook. They really should be a lot further in front. Heatley has kicked two. And he's normally a great kick. So that's 19 shots to eight in favour of the Saints. And that's been indicative, Drew, of... I think you'd agree of St Kilda's play. Ah, oh, yes, the Saints are running them ragged at the moment. Lekas in the back pocket. Oh, danger! Burke! And Nathan Burke, in this picnic the Saints have been having, he really hasn't been joining in. This is just his sixth possession. He centres the ball. Stewie Lowe gets a free kick right in front. Might have got into his back, I think. Around the neck. Did you pay that one, Don? <laughs> it's an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, I think I would have paid it. But also, there's a little bit of acting. And that's experience coming to the fore there. As soon as you get a touch in the back, you go forward. 
And he did it well, Stuart Lowe, but you've got to get in front. Well, that's something he always does, Stuart Lowe. He's kicked one goal, two so far. Right in front. Gets his second. Well, this is Gilder outfit going all before them. Even the defeat last week in Adelaide was no disgrace, and Stan Alves was pleased with them, even in defeat. So that was set up by Perth, although he's had a quiet one by his standards. He was the one centering the ball. Lekas has gone off the ground, and coming on is Daniel Chick for Hawthorne. And there it is in the front of the square, and the free kick. Well, I think he got into his back end, Nick. I think he had the hands out, uh, Steve Lawrence. So that's a dead giveaway. Jonathan Robram running through the back end of the square for Hawthorne. 9-11 to 4-4. Well done by Everett. The Brown to their good midfield, the Saints. Crawford, now in the free kick to Hawthorne, not to Crawford. It will probably go to Lo Salmon or Lawrence, is it? Well, that Lawrence. something about the centre breaks, pick. That's a real problem. The centre position or getting the ball out of the centre. So McKay, while you look that up, Don, will tout the centre wing and Wakeland takes a mark. But the Hawthorne goal, they're off. Trelevin loses the ball. In goes Taylor. Might have topped the push in the back. No, said the umpire. Is that holding it? No again, so it'll be a bounce on centre wing. The umpiring overall has been very, very good. They haven't really... They've paid the free kicks. Centre breaks nearly twice that. St Kilda of Hawthorne. Nine uh, to five. Aren't you doing anything on the night of the umpire's ball? Oh, no, they've been good today, except for that handball that I thought Langford gave. There's Thompson, who's a tough nut. I tell you what, I really do believe that this side, if they could make the finals and finish in, a say, a top four, St Kilda, I reckon they've got the personnel to just about win it. A very good team now. Yes, and considering their first five weeks when they lost four of their first five, it's an incredible turnaround. Here's Taylor. Harford from centre wing. The Hawks need the next two or three, probably. Salmon beaten by Wakeland, who's playing a game. Wakeland, through Young it goes. Over centre wing, Tony Woods takes the mark. To Crawford, Taylor, they have to set up again. Kick by Taylor to centre half forward. Knocked to the front of the pack. Cripps got it out. Will they let it get behind? Hassle the hand pass to Kapler. His hand pass missed the target. Graham's kicked two this quarter. That's three. Yes, but hats off to Johnny Hassel. He was the one who initiated that. Now, this is where the problem's going to come now because Vitovic will come on the ground. Everett will go down forward. There's Hassel breaking through with just strength. Bad hand pass by Kepler. We're calling it clear. Part. Should have been cleaner than that, but well followed up. Second effort by Graham. Now, this is where the problem's going to happen because Everett will go down forward and Hawthorne will be curved will have to move their forward line around because there's going to be a real mismatch. Yep, he's going down there now, Don Everett, as you speak down. And trouble's going with him. Oh, it's Robram's going with Everett. So, centre bounce. Taylor to Harford. Off the side of the boot. Might have been smothered off the boot. Peckett and Trelevin. Peckett will head for the line, I think. Here, you watch this. Boy, I thought he's going to walk over the line with it. Zilla. Lappin. See, they back themselves in, these young fellas. Look at that for class. Rob Harvey again. Another handball to Harvey. That's his sixth, and he's had 13 kicks. Cripps low again in front. Once again, the big hands go up. He gives it off. Back to Aussie Jones. Back to low. Jones went without it. Harford. Hassel. What can the Hawks do? The bounce important. Mark Graham has kicked three goals. He bends it back. Fantastic play. Chris Langford. Can he kick a goal? He bends it back. Oh, he's missed the fullback. And that would have uh, brought the crowd to their feet if he could have kicked that. Oh, Stan Elves not too happy with that passage of play. Well, Chris Langford going for a wander right up the ground. That potentially was going to be one of the highlights of the year. Couldn't cap it off. 30 points the margin, Saints in front. Peckett marks. 
Back to Harvey. Oh, Robert Harvey going on his merry way. That's 20 disposals already. And we've got three and a half minutes to half time. Cripps intercepted by uh, Chick. He put on good pressure. Here's Langers. The hand pass wide to no one in particular. I don't know what Kepler was trying to do. He got a score, actually. I think Langford is now playing down forward. He is. He's Lord's been... coming on and uh, McCabe off. Oh, Ozzy Jones off. And Daniel Healy on. Trying to break the tags. So the Hawks' last couple of minutes has been good. Here's Shanahan. He's going to transfer play here. So I could get into trouble here. No, he finds Young. Young bombs it out there. Two Saints. Pickett. Oh, and Wakeland flies and presses into Pickett. But he takes the mark. Daryl Wakeland. And what's happening here? The umpire making him go back and kick over the mark. So Daryl Wakeland drives it over centre wing. Lawrence at the back, fisted down. Here's Rob Harvey. Oh, brilliant play by Harvey. Fantastic by Harvey. Gives it to Healy from 50. He bends it back. And a nice mark taken by Jonathan Robin. Off he goes. Kick by Robin up short of centre wing. Cripps gets it to the boundary line away from Kapler. Lanford now playing at full forward on Shanahan. Well, that's an interesting contest. Actually, Jamie Shanahan's not even all that disappointed that Jason Dunstall isn't playing today. It's when they met in the first round, they kept him goalless anyway. Not many blokes kick goals on Shanahan, Drew. That's right. And Modra only got one last week. Salmon, great play in the ruck. To centre half forward, oh, top mark. Dixon haven't sighted him all day. He's been off the bend. He started a full forward. Dixon goes out wide. Totally unmarked as to 11. Easy goal. And with two minutes left, the Hawks coming back. Another one and they're in business. Well, he started on the ground, Dixon, at full forward as a mismatch as far as Ian Shanahan went as far as height. But uh, could have worked because he would have run Shanahan around. But they're just using his strength as well done, putting his body in front, Dixon. And then spotting for 11. Excellent, unselfish play. As we see the goal, there are only four kicks out of it now, Hawthorne. They've lifted. A vital two minutes coming up here before half time. A goal either way could make a big difference here. Salmon and Vitovic. Nathan Burke, the quick kick. Lawrence at the back. Low. Heatley gets his boot to it, Jason Heatley. Joel Smith has got a danger here. Thompson. Everett in front. No mark. Oh, some pressure on down here. Lappin. Lappin over the ball. Holding the ball, said the umpire. Quick See, that's kick. a hard one, isn't it? Like chicks sweating on him. He didn't actually take the ball, did he? That's a hard decision. Up I said he was in possession as Scott kicks across the ground and he finds Trelevin. Wind assisted time running out for the Hawks. A minute 14 left in the quarter. Taylor Marks fires it to Woods. He kicks over centre wing. Lord, pretty quiet today. Punch away by Peckett and the ball out of play. Aaron Lord just three handballs. Hasn't had a kick yet. And a couple of weeks ago he kicked six goals. Can the Hawks get another one just before half time? Then it would set up a terrific second half. Kapler did pretty well. But Young for St Kilda. Harvey floats one to Thompson. Peckett. With distance to Everett. Oh, free kick. Free kick to Everett. He was taken by Robin when he didn't have it. Well, in the first quarter, the Saints got a goal right at the end. It's a hard one. It's a hard one when the ball comes out of the uh, centre like it did then on Robin when you're a back man. But he infringed and you can't do that. He should have been a little bit closer. Peter Everett has kicked two goals. Lining up for number three. He's had a wonderful day. He's taken five marks. 
Big spider. Oh, they don't love it. Can't give him that one. Two goals, two to Everett. So they've really, the Saints with their poor kicking the goal have let Hawthorne right off the hook. They're only four goals down the Hawks. Here's a loose man out here at half back. He needs a long kick. Good play by Everett to make a contest. Well done by Robin. Over to Lawrence. Lawrence with a high floating hand pass. They've got time to get it down there, the Hawks. This is Brad Scott. And they need a mark. Is that a free kick to Graham? No. There's still a chance though. Kepler fumbled. Scott. He's got to drive it long. They've got 15 seconds. Langford. Still Langford. Oh, he slipped over. Taylor well goes in hard. And the up is going to bounce. Well, that'll be the action. The end of the action for the first half. Saints by 24 points. They led by 21 at quarter time, so they actually outscored the Hawks by three points into the breeze in that second quarter. They've dominated the first half of the quarter. The Hawks came back in the second half of the quarter, mainly through Mark Graham, who kicked three. But it's still a game. And as a champion former Collingwood full forward, third quarter here at Waverley and with the form the Hawks showed just in the last few minutes of the second quarter this game's certainly not all over St Kilda leading by four goals at the long break, Salmon wins in the middle Burke helps it back for St Kilda hitting the ball hard Joel Smith back to Burke, it was pretty quiet in the first half tagged out of it by Woods Smith the hand pass misses the target Smith goes in again, Hawks making everything a contest Scott now out of defence into open country. Graham kicked a hat trick in the second quarter. Puts a good tackle on Young. Well good done, Luke ball. McCabe. Graham to Platten. Platten on the run. Lankford at full forward. Good spoil by Shanahan. Rodron gets outside 52 for 11. It's like the Hawthorne backline on the forward line with Graham and Lankford down in those positions. Too far out into the breeze for 11. And half it under the ball. Lovett Harvey again receives from Healy. Harvey having another great game. Low again in front. Punched away by Lawrence. Good contest, that one. Joel Smith. Here's Johnny Hassel, the former Magpie. That was very good play. A good pickup. Desperation by Crawford. And I think we might be in for a very good half of football coming up here. As Drew said... Just towards the end of the second term when the Saints were well on top. Hawthorne started to creep back into it. Lawrence and Lowe, they both miss it. Trelevin over the back. Tried to give it off and then he elected to kick it down in the direction of Taylor. Thompson and Platten. Platten trying to play for a free kick. Umpire having none of that. Thompson finds Trelevin. Might have been touched off the boot. Trelevin. Harford. Hassel. On the left foot, tries to bend it back. Langford is there, and it rolls and beats him over the line. Chris Langford hasn't scored even a behind this year in his game since he came back. And now here he is at full forward with the Hawks needing some output from him if they're to get up. Clean possession, Salmon. Salmon's kick. Touch through and through for a behind. Young, the former Hawk, to bring it back in. The low trajectory pass, Harvey again. Off he goes with that characteristic uh, waddle. On the left foot, he bends it back. Oh, Mark dropped down there by Cripps. Harvey again with a hand pass. Pickett. Now Wakeland, they've got the loose man going here. Danger for the Hawks because Ossie Jones brings it down the centre corridor. Mark, I think it'll have to be paid to seven. A good mark. Birderfield, his uh, crummel has been moved to the back line. He was quiet up forward. Bad kick. It's all St Kilda. Pickett. He's got support. Ozzy Jones marks centre wing. 
Angus Crummel went to the right-hand side of the ground and Hawthorne had flooded the left-hand side. Mark Graham was 30 metres in the clear. Kick by Jones, that's in, indirect. And uh, he started well for 11 in this quarter. Off to McCabe, Robren. Oh, well done by Young. Kick by Young. Back to McCabe. Hawthorne have come out to play at the start of this second oh. half. Short pass. Jones Gee, that's a great kick, surely. Over Hassel's shoulder, but no whistle on the play. Healy the hand pass. Lap and a fumble. Back to Healy. Wide for Justin Peckett. Just outside the 50. 23 points the margin in favour of the Saints. Peckett sent as well. And Lap and marks. Tell me this, Don. What is wrong with the 60-metre kickers we see Lap and kick it off? And there he is, Joel Smith. Oh, that fiddling around with the short passes, that costly. It sure is. And Joel Smith has uh, run pretty well in the forward line and run Crawford around a fair bit. He's kicked one. Crawford's on the opposite flank, Drew. I don't know whether he's picking him up. And that's a goal to Smith. If he is, he's a long way from his man. And I think you're right. I think Crawford is now going across to pick up Joel Smith. And there he is on screen. Here's Peckett. Lappin. And Lappin in turn will go across to Smith now. Crawford on left to screen. So now there's five goals in it. Two goals kicked by this talent. Talent at half forward. Everett and Salmon. Salmon wins the hit out. Out to Trelevin. Off he goes. He's having a good term. Trelevin. Langford. Oh, well played by Chris Langford. Using his body in front of Shanahan. And he'll be enjoying this, Donnie, down there. Well, isn't it interesting, Peter? And uh, as soon as you make a move such as this, it usually does come off. But you can't play or start off a game with the uh, full back or because forwards I believe are born they've just got an instinctive thing they're very good players forwards Chris Langford is a great kick normally but this time he's kicking Bagal and he's hooked it across his body and uh, accuracy was badly needed there he's kicked two points Langford it's a good kicking style nice taut in step straight leg nice follow through but just accuracy a problem Nathan Burke Goes out short to Peckett. Kapler trying to run him down. Peckett backs himself. And went past Robin as though he wasn't there. To the 50. Low! Ozzie Jones with his pace. Blocked by Salmon. A double-team tackle. Had no opportunity to get rid of the ball. And the umpire will ball it up. Daniel Healy didn't see which way they came from. <laughs> Good sign when you see a tackle such as this. Yeah, three of them came at him. Lawrence and low. Lawrence won it. Robert Harvey is there. Did he keep it in? Yes, he did. Good play. Smothered up the boot. Oh, look, he's got it again. Harvey, fantastic play by Harvey. And he has found Everett in front of goal. I don't know whether that ball crossed the line or not down there. That was a great mark by Everett. Let's see. There it is. Towards the ball. Oh, no, just it in. Just in. A great play by Harvey. And then, and then this kick and the mark. This is an excellent mark by Everett. Uh, Peter Everett is normally a pretty good kick for goal. This will make it hard for the Hawks if he kicks this. And he sneaks it in, I think. Yes. So after great play by Harvey, they move further in front. Difficult now for the Hawks. Yes, and his mobility down on the forward line is a real problem. He's kicked the three goals. We're calling Midge Willoughby. Could have had five. Midge Willoughby. And he really has taken the initiative, Everett. Well, back in the centre. And big Peter Everett, a goal in each quarter. He's had ten kicks and taken six marks. And here he is winning the hit out against Salmon. 
Robert Harvey runs onto it. What a game he's having for the second week in a row. And this time it's Jason Heatley. Robert Harvey is up to 27 possessions. Now, there's 13 and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Pete, how many possessions will he get for the day? Well, if you're working on averages, 73% multiply, but no, let's not go on with it. <laughs> I think he's going to have close to 40 again anyway. Oh, what a game. Now, Jason Heatley, who kicked two in the first quarter. Saints are going with the breeze. Hawks started the quarter well, couldn't get a score on the board. And Heatley, I think, has kicked the goal. No. Uh, what's the body language, Drew? He was willing that through. The body was twisting, trying to will that ball to straighten up, and it just didn't quite get there. I, uh, could, I could never read body language. No, uh, Don's an expert on male bodies, and uh, we often turning around saying what a great uh, physique people have got. As we see, kicking it in is Darren Kepler. Harvey in front, flicked over the back. Stewie Lowe. Ozzie Jones bends it back. Crummel in front. Winmar's wearing number 50 now. Now McCabe gets it across to Scott. Ozzie Jones at the back to Levin. Lowe is working hard down there. And it's a free kick. Oh, goodness me. What was that for? Although that was a bit lucky, that one to Jones. He's gone. No, he isn't. Good play by little Ozzie. Bends it back in the front of goal. Oh, Big Peter Everett. Well, when you start jumping like that, you are chock full of confidence. Look at the grin. No, when you jump like that, have a look at this. He gets up, he just gets a ride on the shoulder. That is confidence plus. And it's against Paul Salmon, who has absolutely killed him. No, there's a 50-metre penalty, I think, now. Drew, the umpire's dragging Salmon back. Now, what was that for? Well, it's to even up the one that uh, Everett gave away to Salmon earlier in the game. Eye for an eye. It has to be for mouthing off, doesn't it? Or well, no, that umpire came from back of the uh, play, Pete. He wasn't the actual umpire in the play. Well, I don't know. We're just guessing. So Peter Everett has kicked his fourth. Well, he's put that right out of the ground. Well, it's no mean feat to be given, giving Salmon a hiding in the form he's been showing in the last two seasons. It's an excellent effort, isn't it? He's played four goals. And the way the ruck play is played nowadays, if you really don't take the initiative and aggressive and run forward and use up forward like he is being used now, you've got the other one chasing you, and Everett has certainly taken the initiative and has been a focal point when well, running forward. Well, Simmons actually dominated the hit outs at the centre bounce, but Around the ground, Everett's been going down that ball line. He's kicked four goals. But well, Everett won that hit out to Burke. Burke to the half forward line. The bounce important here. Oh, the bad bounce for Johnny Hassel. Lawrence went in hard. Oh, St Kilda player hurt. Harvey, another hand pass. Joel Smith, Stewie Lowe, Cripps. Up in the air it goes. As St Kilda player still down, we'll pick him up in a moment. Lord. Ozzie Jones. Who is it? Ozzie Jones. Ozzie Jones. Here's Jason Heatley. Oh, don't tell me he's kicked this. No, he hasn't. He's kicked it behind. So, Jones is up and about, I think. Yep, he's right. Two goals, four to Heatley. And here is the incident. Bang. And Lawrence, Ooh. despite what Lawrence really does hit hard. I've seen him on a number of occasions over the years. And when he hits, he hits them hard. Well, his hip and shoulder, wasn't it? Oh. Well, seven goals the margin and still 11 and a half minutes of wind-assisted time to go for the Saints. So you'd reckon by three-quarter time they'll have built up a match-winning lead. Here's Crummel out of the back pocket. Robin sandwiched. Everett plucked it. Peter Everett. He's, he just reached over the top, didn't he? Nice oh, confidence. He's taken eight marks, uh, the most by any player on the ground. Heatley interfering. Paul Salmon, he's had 12 disposals. Everett has had 13, but Everett's kicked four goals. There's Everett contesting back at centre wing. Well played, Trelevin. Outstanding third turn. Scott back to Trelevin. 
close to the boundary line. Excellent mark taken by Taylor. Taylor now playing half forward. He had the job earlier on Austin Jones. So Richard Taylor, this is where they've been falling down. Graham has kicked three goals, but they haven't had a lot of marking power. Daniel Chick has got it at half forward. He bends it back to half forward. Platten has been fairly quiet. Cop one a little bit high, taken by Nathan Burke. Robbie Harvey again. There he goes with that familiar waddle of his. Beautiful kick. Oh, and a good mark. He just doesn't pick up positions. He does something with them too. Well, he's improved in that area, Rob Harvey. That Jones. Oh, there he is again. He's chipping it in towards half forward and finds Smith. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up no, he's running on kick. again. He'll get it back. So Joel Smith, where's, where is Harvey? He seems to be everywhere. He's going to drive it long, Joel Smith. They've got some high markers up here. Is that a mark? Heatley. Goal to Heatley. I think it's a goal. Unless it's a... Oh, hit the post. I thought the umpire... Well, I wonder if the umpire was overruled by the field umpire then. I reckon he would... Let's have a look at it. I thought the goal umpire was going to pay a goal. You watch this. He goes to pay it a goal. And I reckon the field umpire has told him... Yes, the field umpire has told him it's hit the post. Good, good combination. That's good call, Pete. He was all set to pay it, wasn't he? I thought so. Here's Crummel. 87 plays 44. It's getting right out of hand for the Hawks now. Zilla punches. Well, as you mentioned earlier in the game, the Saints, if they get a top four finish into the finals, who knows what they might be able to achieve. Well, they've got a bit of everything, haven't they? Their defence is tightened up. Shanahan's a good fullback. Wakeland's doing his job. Tony Brown inside the 50. Here's Cripps. Oh, goal. Smith just running off Crawford and getting another one. Three goals to Joel Smith. Drew, if we get this in replay, and I hope we do, Johnny Hassel, John Hassel in this situation, was looking after his man. He should have run at Smith. You'll watch here as the ball goes forward. Now, here's the replay. There's a good build-up here. Out it comes from Brown. Now, see how Hassel stopped? He really should have gone and at least put a bit of pressure. And Joel Smith are once again getting away from Shane Crawford. A uh, very impressive display this by St Kilda. Everett and Salmon. Salmon wins it again, the hit out. Woods is caught. Oh, that was almost holding the ball. And uh, he eventually tried to get it out, so the umpire gave Tony Woods the benefit of the doubt. Umpiring has been very consistent. Hawthorne's last goal, the 28th minute of the second quarter. And, I mean, we've got just over eight and a half minutes left in the third. They haven't looked like scoring goals, the Hawks. That was Zilla getting a quick hand pass. Trelevin's had a good quarter. Socket off the ground by Rob Harvey. Out to the wide open spaces. Nicky Winmar. He's got it. Wearing number 50 instead of his familiar number seven. Here's Low. Oh, well done, Lawrence. He has not given up for one minute. Uh, so no, Low, Lawrence uh, Low has been a very, very good player. And uh, especially in that second quarter, he got on top of Lawrence. He's kept at it, Steve. Lawrence, yeah, my word. Oh, yes. Yeah, my word, yeah. Pretty hard when the ball's been pumped down there time and time again. Clean possession low. Smith goes back to Harvey. Another kick for Robert Harvey. That's number 21, 22. Oh, Lappin. Great control and kicks a goal. St Kilda flogging the Hawks at the moment. Five goals to nothing this quarter and a 55-point lead. Yes, and it's a bit like the reserve grade game, the way the thing is just not working out. Robram did the right thing. He ran at the ball but just couldn't control it. If everybody stays in front, well, the ball's got to turn your way. Lord back on the ground. Well, they might have moved Langford to full forward, but they certainly miss him down on the back line, his steadiness. So let's see who wins the hit out. Salmon's been winning them, but St Kilda have been taking it out. Salmon again. 
Clapton has been quiet. Oh, threw it away. And the umpire's pinned him. Well, umpired. He certainly threw that. He's not a bad player, this bloke, Peter. For a first-year player, Tough. he does very, very well. That's Andrew Thompson. Yes, he's a real little goer. Lowe has got a couple to beat. Lawrence over the back has taken the mark. Steve Lawrence goes back to McKay. Cornered, so he comes out to the broadcast side to Johnny Hassel. Here's kick to half-back flank. Crawford drops the finger tipper. There's number 50, Winmar. All stayed in. Aaron Lord has lost form in the last couple of weeks after kicking six goals a fortnight ago. The ball out of play. And on the full, Anderson killed a free kick, will be taken by Tony Brown. I'm thinking, what a grand final St Kilda and the Western Bulldogs would oh, be. It'd be fantastic. Oh, Harvey, another hand pass over the back. Now, Robert Harvey, you wouldn't believe this, with seven minutes to go until three-quarter time, he's had 22 kicks and 11 handballs. You'd love to have that for a whole game, wouldn't you? Stats like that. Yeah, 22 kicks, and the next best on the ground has got 12. Well, there he goes again, but it's kicked away by Lord in mid-air. Platten used his body well. Caught, drops it. But a good umpire to let it go, and he'll come in and bounce it. The umpire. Darren Kaplan Peter's gone down a full forward. He's still got Langford and Graham on that forward line. Chick's now gone forward. And also Salmon has gone down forward now, playing at centre half forward. And Robert Scott is finally picking up Harvey there. I wonder if he can. Oh, he can't stop him either. Here he goes again. Kick number 23, Harvey. Finds Lappin. Lappin to Zilla. Oh, beautiful kick. Great lead by Heatley. Oh, Zilla's come up. He's been back pocket all day. And now he's feeding full forward. Yes, when you're uh, when it's going your way, your skill level doesn't bring in. And here it is. Excellent play. He's just put it out in front. Jason Heatley's made a difference to this side too. The fact that it takes a bit of pressure off uh, Lowe. Lowe goes for the marks. Heatley leads. He's going for his third from directly in front, Jason Heatley. He lays back. I think he's kicked another one. He has. It also takes the pressure off Everett. Three goals to Jason Heatley. And there he is, a leading, and they all complement one another. You've got the two big guys down there, and here's Harvey once again. Now Zillow will run onto it, Lappin giving the ball out. And Crummel, there's really nothing he can do in that situation. There's a big space in front of the foot forward. Well, Jason Heatley really taking the pressure off Stuart Lowe. It looks as though he might beat him to 50 goals for the season. That's now 40. Lowe's kick 37. Everett beautifully over his head to Smith. How about that for beating Salmon in the middle? Oh, a solid clash then. Players hit the deck like nine pins. Mickey Winmar to the point of the square. Robin. Ozzie Jones charged in front on and gave away the free kick. So, Jonathan Robin will drive it out. Trelevin has tried very, very hard in this term. He's actually had a very good term. Crawford. And Shane Crawford drives to centre wing. Peckett read it beautifully. And they've got guys like Zilla and Peckett and Young. All those guys who don't get a lot of kudos, but they're just very good players. There's one of them I just mentioned. Matthew Young. They've got a guy called... Oh, that could be a free kick to low. It should be actually Ooh, you gee. called it and you were dead right I thought he was held to 11 receives from uh, Woods here's Jonathan Robin. he can run further if he wants to but he elects to kick it down here to Langford no mark good spoiling by Shanahan Langford now oh, cleverly done by Chris Langford he's got it full back turn full forward brings it into half forward to Graham who's kicked three Charles Smith did well Oh, well, very, very good play by Smith. Well, he's kicked three goals, and there he was defending. Woods threw it away from Burke, and holding the ball, free kick to Nathan Burke. Everything going the Saints' way. Pops it over to Brown. Lost a bit of form, Brown, but he's back in town now. 
And here's Jones, who has burned all year and won state selection. Recruited from Beaconsfield. Lappin. Built like a piece of string, but what a player. Kicked by Lappin. Low sandwich. He waited down. He might get this, Dewey. Just inside the line. He ducks it to, to 11. And kicked out of bounds on the four. <laughs> he knew he was caught then, Stewie, and then ducked the head trying to get a free kick. But uh, he's such a big, strong guy. It takes a good bloke to hold him, Don. You need oh, that's the way I believe that centre half forward should be played. It's a hard position to play, but you can hold your ground, you just bully, you bustle. So McCabe, Salmon in front. No mark. Here's Ozzie Jones. Brown taps it back to, towards Jones. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. Because the ball seems to be funneled into that position at centre half forward. And it's easy for a backman to cut it off, but it's very hard for a forward to be productive when you've got numbers going against you. And that's why you need to be big and strong. Hawthorne making a change with Chip coming off the ground. It's Jade Rawlings coming on. Now, here's Brown. Held to him. It's kicked in mid-air off the ground. And here's Healy. Oh, good play by Healy. Doesn't muck around and kicks it long. Heatley. No mark. Oh, here's big spider Everett. He's caught. Heatley. He's caught. Hand pass. Goal coming up the low. You wouldn't believe it. That's his third goal, Stewie Lowe. And they just kept working hard this time. Well, I mean, this is when the wheels fall off as far as the team is concerned. They're just falling off for Hawthorne because everything St Kilda is doing is turning, turning to goal. Warren's doing well, backing back hard. Good mobility once again by Everett. And Everett really did cause that goal to be kicked. Well, in this quarter... The Saints have kicked seven goals, three to two points. And remember last week, the Hawks' total fade out against the Tigers when Richmond kicked ten goals to one in the last quarter. So they've fallen like a pack of cards, the Hawks, after winning five straight. Tell you what, Everett's beating Salmon in tap-outs tap now. Goes to Trelevin. Back to Crawford. Kick by Crawford to half-forward. Langford caught behind. Young! Fine mark. Confidence. He's behind. He jumps high. He's had a good game, Young. They're full of confidence, aren't they, St Kilda? That's four marks and 14 disposals for Matthew Young. Now Brown, Robert Harvey, give him three more votes. The kick towards half forward. It sits up, knocked away by Lawrence from low. Goes to Hassel. Johnny Hassel off the left, out of bounds on the full. It's turning into a nightmare for the Hawks. Well, with just over two minutes left to three-quarter time, Don. Brad Scott's now got, I think, the job with Robert Harvey. McCabe's with Winmar. So over the back is Hassel. Oh, nearly off. Oh, oh, that's got to be a throw against McCabe. He tunnel balled it with the... You can't do that. Uh, free kick to Winmar. There's no doubt about that one. And here it is. So Nicky Winmar winning, uh, wearing number 50, probably blood all over his number seven. As he kicks from 45 metres, oh, that's another one. This secure side is playing with enormous confidence. We thought both of them were back in the game, Don, at uh, half-time. Well, they were, Pete, and they really did have their chance at half-time. I think it was a matter of, what, 18 points. And there it is. And look, there you just got to slap it out. He really did. He held it and then pushed it out. But they've only scored the two points in the second or third quarter. Hawthorne. this is now they lost by 76 last week to Richmond the Hawks it might be that or more today Kapler knocks it forward goes for one out of the air well read by Graham off to Taylor Dixon couldn't quite mark Peckett up to center wing here's Winmar and Burke 
Burke applies the tackle to Woods, who shadowed him all day, and the free kick goes to Nathan Burke. Hawthorne fans thought it might have been in the back. Give it to Robert Harvey, who is now up to 36 possessions. Spider Everett, what a game. Centering kick, pulled it back probably too far for Heatley. Low dives. He's brought to free kick Got against... Holding the ball, I think. Yeah. To Crummel. Here's Robbrin. Hassel. Shane Crawford. Oh, he's got... It's not their day. Shane Crawford has fumbled. Let Lappin in. Up he goes, Lappin. To Ozzie Jones, two of the youngsters he can it will have a shot. He's having a shot from 45. Oh, don't tell me it's another one. It is. Two goals to Jones. A brilliant quarter of football. Would which, which Stan Elsby wrapped? Well, any coach would be to uh, really obliterate the opposition. They've doubled what they scored in the first half just in one quarter. They had 66 points up. They've scored now 67 points in the third quarter. It's just a terrific third quarter effort. Hawthorne, on the other hand, have only kicked the two solitary points. I cannot find a winner for Hawthorne. Well, 16 seconds left, and the way the Saints are going, they might get another one. Everett wins in the middle, but Hassel pinches it. Graham, run down from behind by Healy. It goes to Scott, fumbled by Graham. There's the siren. It ends a magnificent quarter for the Saints. And you wouldn't be laughed at if you gave Saints a chance of going all the way. Start of the final quarter here at Waverley, and it would need to be the biggest comeback in the history over 100 years of VFL AFL football for Hawthorne to get back. And how could they possibly, with Robert Harvey dominating still? Ball knocked up the ground by Zilla. Beautifully taken by Smith back to Zilla, but Smith threw it. Well, we've got Salmon at full forward. We've got Mark Graham at centre-half back, and uh, Stephen Lawrence now on the ball for Hawthorne, so they're still pulling changes. Langford's still down on the forward line beside Salmon. Or is it Rawlings beside Salmon? Uh, Langford on half-forward flank. Crawford didn't get much distance with that kick. Still trouble with his ankle injury, but a mark to Harford at centre wing. Harford goes short, and Lawrence, who's played most of the game in defence, now the forward half. Trelevin had a good third quarter. Back to Harford. Peckett couldn't quite take the mark. But he recovers, and the Saints belt it out of defence. Smith and Crawford. Crawford once again. Inside 50. Jade Rawlings. Now, Rawlings, who's playing just his second game for the season, came in last week in the flogging against Richmond. And uh, in that game, he kicked one goal one. So this is for his second goal of the year. 45 metres out. Goal! Been a long time coming. The 28-minute mark at the second quarter was the last time Hawthorne scored a goal. And again, the advantage of being in front. Ball return to Crawford. Lucky bounce. He's running behind Smith. There's Rawlings in front of Pickett. Well, I'm sure Ken Judge would have impressed on the Hawks how important it is to gain some respect as Brown goes forward. Because they've copped a bit of a hiding. Now, that's Harford receiving from Clutton. Under to Levin. He's tackled and loses it. Winmar holding the ball, said the umpire. Rob Harvey again. So, 30, 38 positions for Harvey. Taken up here by Lappin. So, Matthew Lappin. Very talented young player. Low against Mark Graham, who's now in defence. 
McCabe gave it across. Trelevin's battling very, very hard. Smith holding the ball. Good tackle by Woods. And I don't think anyone on the ground could argue with that one. Tony Woods, formerly of Fitzroy and Collingwood. That's a way by Wakeland. Kepler couldn't do anything with it. Cripps, a free kick. Advantage paid. Jason Cripps drives to half forward. Low over the back. Flies through the air, couldn't take the mark. Crawford goes down. Lappin has got it. Here's Brown. Chipping it across the ground, he finds Everett. Peter Everett, 10 marks for the game. And he's kicked the merest of four goals. Well, this would need to be a Jeff Fairing kick. He's into a slight breeze. Stewie Lowe, one out at full forward with Crummel. And Heatley came across in front. Should have been a free kick to Stuart Lowe on that occasion. He used his body well and Crummel just hung on. How the umpire didn't see it is beyond me. Look at this. The interference, the hands around the body. Well, what choices they have on the forward line. Heatley's going for his fourth. Everett's kicked four. Smith's kicked three. And Lowe has kicked three. Well, it's a lot of goal. They used to talk about St Kilda as just being low, didn't we, as a goal yeah. kicker? So, Jason Heatley. Disappointing kick. Should have been a certainty for a full forward from there. Well, you can see, uh, Drew, he laid right back on That's that his one. Fifth, fifth point for the quarter, uh, for the fifth point for the game, boys. And he's normally a very good kick for goal, Jason Heatley. He laid right back on that one. Here's Brendan Crummel. Shane Crawford's not too well either. The physio, Barry Gavin, has been out to see him. So Crummel drives for halfback. Flipped over the back by Lawrence. That was brilliant play. Here's Crawford coming back inside. Trelevin has kept batting very, very hard. Johnny Platten brings it in towards a leading player down here. It's Rawlings, and that's what they need. With Dunstall out of the side, they need someone who can lead out like that. But also now they're starting to win the ball around midfield, Hawthorne. Well, Lawrence's flick on at half back started it. Terrific flick on now. Jade Rawlings for his second in the space of a couple of minutes. He's directly in front. He kicks a goal, he's dubbed it. So that'll give the young uh, full forward uh, a lot of confidence. Yes, well, you picked it, boys. It started on half back with a flick over. Crawford back to Trelevin. Trelevin in turn to Platten, and Platten putting it out into space. But it started with Lawrence from that kick, and he flicked it over his head, and Crawford was onto it. And a goal without a St Kilda player touching it from the kicking. Johnny Platten involved there. He's had just uh, three touches since quarter time. Oh, Everett over the back to Brown, but he was swamped. It's 11 there in the background hurt. And the umpire will ball it up. <laughs> Bit of a laugh from Hayden Kennedy and Tony Woods. Woods has stuck pretty well to Nathan Burke. He's done his job, really, hasn't he? Kept Burke to 13. Great tackle by Lekas. Sometimes they're paid, not on that occasion. Now a free kick. Well, that just shows you should smile at the umpires <laughs> more often as he receives a hand pass from Taylor. It should be Rawlings. a free kick down the ground. Rawlings flicked it out to Platten. Platten over the back. Chris Langford up in front of goal. Spider Everett. They must have been touched up the boot because he didn't try and mark, but in the meantime. He's got a free kick and he's hurt. Oh, he cut one in the groin, I think. And he's not happy, Big Spider. Let's see what actually happened. Oh, he got the knee and the boot and everything. And oh, he's in a bit of pain. He's wincing in pain there. Joel Smith. Oh, good mark. Oh, the Saints playing irresistible football. Low! He climbed! He hung in the air, went up in the third quarter, and came down in the fourth. <laughs> Magnificent. Poetry in motion. Look at this. 
just rides him to the ground. Fantastic leap by Stewie Lowe. Put that in your career highlights tape, Stewie. Now the Hawks out of defence. Crawford to Scott. The Hawks have kicked the only two goals in this last quarter. Oh, here's Robert Harvey. He might get 50 possessions today. We might be seeing history being made. Stewie Lowe again. And Lowe at half ball with those big bucket hands of his. He drives it in the football. Winmar will fly. Come up. Graham is there. And that Hawthorne defence under enormous pressure is it's been pumped down there time and time again by these skillful and the St Kilda players. We used to criticise them for their uh, skill errors with use of the ball. Boy, has that improved as we see the Hawks bench. Peter Swap there with Kenny Judge. Here's Nathan Burke. A quick kick in towards the full forward area. Over the back is Angelo Lekas. He kicks it in the safety of the boundary line. I think they'll be hoping this goes out. It is. How's this for a matchup? Johnny Platton's picking up Robert Harvey. They've just run out of players to put on. He's run them all into the deck. Robert Harvey, 27 kicks, 12 hand passes. Stuart Lowe is underground. Umpire calls for it and will ball it up. Now that's that's an his third opponent, Drew. That's an unusual one, though, isn't it, Scotty? It's his third opponent, Robert Harvey. He started with uh, Harford, then Scott for a little while, now Platten. Big leap by uh, Graham. Here's Harvey. Nobody can stop this man today. Another hand pass out, and a snap for goal is offline from Heatley. So uh, Jason Heatley has had a heap of the ball on the forward line and has kicked just three goals. He could have had about eight. Uh, Rob Harvey has now hit the magic 40 possessions. He had 43, I think it was, against the Crows on Saturday night. He is now, with nearly 13 minutes, just under 13 minutes left, had 27 kicks and 13 handballs. Here's Stewie Lowe again hanging in the air. Well, I really felt they would have beaten Adelaide last week if he had played a game like this. Everett at the back. He's got it. That's a mark. Spider Everett will kick from 30 metres. Well, you, could, you couldn't criticise Mark Graham, Pete, no. because he was in front. It was just the fact that here he is, that Everett is just too tall. Well, he's going for goal number five, Peter Everett. And all of a sudden, they've got a potent attack. They've got goal kickers everywhere at that forward line, St Kilda. Big laser bit of it is coming on the ground. And it's Beveridge going off. Everett for goal number five. Well, I think he might have hooked this. He's missed a few. Not happy with himself. 18-18 to 8-8, and that is a hiding, and the percentage will certainly help. It's tied at the top. Well, the surprising thing is the Saints haven't kicked a goal in this quarter. Here's another exhibition mark by Stewie Lowe. Thanks for coming. He's now taken eight. Here goes Lappin, inside 50. Oh, oh what a beautiful sidestep. And Heatley was on his own near the goal square. I think I, Lappin was trying, probably trying to kick the goal of the day. I reckon, I reckon you'd have to say St Kilda, Don, but have the best sidesteppers in the league. <laughs> when, when you look at you think about Harvey, Smith... Lappin, Jones, they can, they can turn on the me fit. There he is, he's one of them. Joel Smith. Off to Robert Harvey, cap it off with a goal. Oh, he missed it. Well, that's a black mark here, Rob. Hey, can I rephrase what I said there? The sidestepping sounds if they're jumping out of the way, doesn't it? But that swivel of the hips, it's a skill. Well, the way Scotty laughed, that's the way he read it. Know, but look at the stats, 28 kicks. 13 handballs, three marks, and uh, another cent. He's got to have six. Oh, votes. low again, nearly. He's got to have six votes in uh, two games, I reckon, in the Brownlow Middle. Here's uh, Shane Crawford. He's trying to lift the side there, Crawford, as he kicks it out to centre wing. Kapler's been very quiet. As the ball goes over the line, way out on centre wing. 11 minutes to go, and the Saints by 72 points. In round one, 
Hawthorne won this game against St Kilda by six points. So what a turnaround. The co-tenants at Waverley playing in front of 43,000 people here today. Smith a bounce and a run. Graham couldn't take the mark. Winmar, well done, Nicky. Unusual to see him in number 50. Stewie Lowe has kicked another one. Yes, everything's just going right, isn't it? In games like these, they should ring the bell. We know what the uh, outcome is going to be. Here's Winmar, he's had a quiet day. There's Lowe getting onto it. Not a good kick off the boot, but nonetheless. Uh, very impressive display, this. Many goal kickers up forward, but no wonder the way it's been pumped down there. Lawrence, beaten by Vitovic. Shane Crawford races at it. Mark Graham was tripped, I felt. Yes, and the umpires have missed very, very little today. I think they've been very, very good. Graham out wide. Chris Langford. Harford. He can have another bounce. He can still go if he likes. Three, three bounces. Some good shepherding. Four. Will he go again? No, he brings it in towards half forward. Rawlings nearly a mark. Didn't quite hang on to it. Burke goes to ground. And right in front of the Hawks' goal will be a bounce. Well, they've tried everything as far as moving players to Hawthorne hierarchy the coaching staff they've moved them everywhere in order to try and give this side a lift but all the no avail Vitovic gets it to Burke somehow slips a hand pass to Shanahan they clear the 50 Smith gets a bad bounce it favors Crawford not for the first time today in the hassle pretty hard to get past Zilla back to Crawford intercept Young floats the hand pass Burke Oh, it sits all right for Peckett. Here go the Saints. Tony Brown's had a good day. Kick by Brown for Lowe. He's taken about four marks this last quarter. Not this time. He's still got the chance to win it at ground level. And the umpire will ball it up. Oh, often for uh, 11. Looked a bit sore there. Tried hard, Shane, for to, to 11. He's had 12 kicks, 11 handballs, taken seven marks. Salmon back in the rut. Kicked in midair by Brown, taken by Crawford. He bends it to the half forward line. I think uh, Chris Langford would be happy to see this one go over. And the veteran next week will play his 300th game and you couldn't get a more worthy uh, player to play 300 AFL games. He's been an ornament to the game, Chris Langford. Played in premierships. He's been scrupulously fair and a great fullback for the Hawks. Well done. Taken away by Richard Taylor and from 45 metres he bends it back at goal and has put it through. That's his first and a belated goal to the Hawks. They've got their ninth. Well, he was moved to the half-forward flank just after half-time, Richard Taylor, and it's really the first time he's got away since going to that position. He had the job on uh, Austin Jones earlier, running with Austin Jones. And here is Taylor using that speed and good skill to advantage as he goes on and posts his first and Hawthorne's ninth. A little bit of respectability to the score. Well, the Hawks are going to the scoring end. Uh, they've kicked three goals to one in this last quarter. To 11. Bad bounce from McCabe. Oh, Nathan Burke. Joel Smith had a wonderful day. He's kicked three. Going for number four. Doesn't get there. Everett keeps it in. Still a chance for the Saints. Low chasing hard for it, but the ball out of bounds in the left forward pocket. 134 plays, 62. 72-point margin to the Saints. 
I suppose they signalled their intention this year when they beat the Eagles in Perth. That was a terrific victory. Boys, Robert Harvey, another opponent. And I think they put him up on the forward line at the moment, Harvey, as we see Scott. We'll pick it up in a moment as he's actually lining up. He's got Shane Crawford on him now. Yeah, he's gone up the forward line. I think he's giving him a breather. Yeah, he's going back to the forward line. I think Stan Elves wisely giving him a breather. He's got the three votes. He might have uh, been worried he's going to suffer from leather poisoning. I think he's had it that often. Here's Ozzy Jones bending it back. Taken by Trelevin. On to Lawrence. An up and under kick to centre wing. The bounce important here. McKay caught by Young. Play on calls the umpire. Ozzy Jones, that quick hand pass. Here's Dixon. He latches onto it. Nice hand pass. Chris Langford, way out at half forward, brings it in. An ordinary kick by his standards. Here's Zilla. Zilla went in hard after it. Still after it, Zilla. And Stephen Zilla brings it to half back where Ozzy Jones casually takes the mark. 50 and metres. Bit stiff there. I thought Ozzy took a so step over I. the mark. And Robert Harvey is coming off the ground. A standing ovation, and they are standing as one. Well, this is like Bradman coming back after scoring a triple century. Robert Harvey, 41 possessions, over 40 for the second week in a row, and he's gone off with nearly seven minutes in the game left. Heatley will kick for goal. Trouble going for the hanger. Wouldn't have been a free kick had he have taken the mark. It's an interesting decision and interpretation of the rule, this. But you can see there he's going for the mark. Well, I don't think that was a free kick. Well, personally, I don't think so in that situation either, Pete. I didn't think he touched him. He just jumped. But then again, had he have taken the mark, it would have been a mark. Now, because he misses it, it's a free kick. It's an interesting rule. 45 metres out, Jason Heatley. Oh, he's got it! So he, he's kicked four, Lowe's kicked four, Everett's kicked four. I'd love to see that one again. Uh, a great kick, by the way, by Heatley, but I thought he had his eyes on the ball. Watch this. Up. He might have yeah, his hands on you're the interfering shoulder, with the player. No, well, I think you're interfering. The interpretation is you're interfering with the player, Pete. But as I say, if you take the mark, it's paid as a mark. But if you miss, it's an infringement. Anyway, Chris Langford's gone off. Uh, Heatley has kicked four and they've just got so many avenues to goal. Joel Smith, low. Lawrence did well. Here's Woods. Now Hassel. And finally Trelevin. He's out at half back. We had no nothing up forward today, the Hawks. Oh, good mark. Justin Pickett. Oh, he's got to go behind the mark, surely. Well, he... Anyway, Lickers. At the back is Pickett. Plenty of time. Joel Smith backs himself in. Oh, if he had been grabbed in, it would have been holding it. Oh, he's a little bit too fancy then. Oh, Lappin, the look-away hand pass. Zilla, Nathan Burke, here's Robin, he's got it, oh, he over. And the hand pass finds Tony Woods. Straight up the ground, Woods was decked after he got rid of the kick by Burke, and a relayed free kick to Hawthorne. And Woods comes up pretty gingerly. Graham will take it. Round Young he goes. Well, that's not to the forwards' advantage, that's gone a country mile wide. Shanahan very happy to see it over the boundary line. And Woods hobbling. Well, I suppose you could say that he's done his job. Woods has kept Burke quiet. It possibly might be the only uh, position they've won. His 18 positions, I haven't, uh, I haven't done the mathematics on it, but there wouldn't be too many. No, well, he's had 19 odd possessions, and uh, Burke, on the other hand, has had the 17, so maybe Brad Scott on Nicky Winmar. 
It's hard to keep them all down, isn't it, though, yeah. St Kilda midfield? Vitovic playing his first game for the year. But Taylor has it. Through Crawford it goes. Floated by Lord to Scott. Kicked by Brad Scott out in front. Rawlings climbs again. Shanahan spoils again. Hand pass to Platt. Johnny Platt and the acting captain. Bit of distance with that. To the goal square. Graham over his head. <laughs> he tried the Maradona. Punched away by Jones. To 11 just inside the line. Shanahan going for a mark in the back line. And now he does the backman's thing and goes for the white line. Back it is at half back with, or half forward for Hawthorne. Crawford. Matthew Young, who kicked that out from the back line, then would be enjoying this because he was discarded by the Hawks. And he has really developed into a good player at St Kilda. He's had a good game today. He, particularly early, he was impassable yep. on that half back flank. Half forward for the Hawks. We've got just under three and a half minutes left. That was Zilla. The half back area, Winmar and Crawford, and in the back. Three just kicks. repeated the earlier thing where Crawford went down and Winmar went over the top, the last scuffle. And Crawford's not too well. He's, uh, he's injured, Crawford. Yeah, he's had foot problems. He's not even attempting to kick it. He gives it up to Scott. Back to Crawford. He yeah, might have it to off kick. again. See. Back to Scott. He's oh, he's gone. Gets in a hand pass. Uh, Crawford doesn't Crawford even should be off the ground. attempt to grab it. See, he's limping now. Free kick will go the way of St Kilda. Yeah. Those, those painkillers wear off, don't they? Yep. Beverage. Lappin, danger here for the Hawks. Lappin, he's a clever, creative player. Off he goes. Hand pass out to Healy. Healy is a booming kick. Oh, low trajectory. Kicks a beauty. Mark. Oh, well done. Heatley at one-hander. Stewie Lowe's hurt. He's all right. Uh, he's, he's having a bit of a grin. I'll tell you what, it'd be hard to hurt him, wouldn't it? But uh, look at that low yeah, trajectory. It's an ex kick. excellent kick, and it's a good mark, too. And if he hadn't have marked it, Heatley, Lowe would have. Well, Jason Heatley going for his fifth. Well, this is good. Joel Smith's got three. Edwards got four. Lower's got four. And Heatley going for his fifth, so they're spinning it round. But there's also a few others, and they've had eight contributors on the scoreboard today, St Kilda. Heatley has missed a few. Slight angle. Oh, late back again. He missed it, I think. Yep. What in that situation? What head over the ball? You should have your head right over the ball and drive through it. He's laying back on his kicks. So, well, he's kicked a lot of points. That's the seventh point. It's, uh, I've run out of ink writing his Four points. Four goals, back. seven. Lappin, beautiful player to watch. Looks as though he's a junior playing in the senior competition. Keeps on getting the ball. Very creative. They've got the best crop of young players in the competition. I've got no doubt that five or six young guys. That kid's got class with a capital C. Oh, well done, Aussie. That hassle, hassled out, hassled him out of it. Platten quiet since the first quarter. McCabe. To the 50. Graham caught underneath the ball. Here's a chance, though. Scott goes through. Oh, down goes whoever you are, Rawlings. Swamped. And St Kilda have tackled in numbers today. Aaron Lord. Well, this will help their percentage too, which will be vitally important. This was a very, very important game to both these clubs. Good tackle there on Pickett, the umpire. Been, uh, right on the scene, that's uh, Ben Dixon there on screen. And the Hawks would rather forget about this game. Just before half time, they crawled back into it. We thought it'd be a good second half, but St Kilda to their credit have been terrific. Peckett gets it to Zilla. Here's Angelo Lekas racing onto the ball at half forward, drives it back in front of goal, taken by Vitovic. Sweeping hand pass, find Young. 
rid of it. Gets rid of it quickly. Brown, Crawford, caught. Loses it. Brown again. Winmar, Platten. Oh, he got, oh. The, he got the kick in and he finds Daryl Wakeman. How clever was that? Smith, he wanted to go on with it. Robin kept the tackle going. Now Joel Smith. Heatley, mile up the ground. Couldn't mark, but he found a teammate. Brown. Left footer by Brown inside 50. Burke is there. Low. Stewie. Put it down red hot in the tackle. It spills to Woods. Thumps it out. Comes to Robin. And Robin's kick. Platten out on his own, but the clock might beat him. Just seconds left. The kick by Platten to centre half forward. Magnificent victory by the Saints. They just keep marching on. Hawthorne's second thumping in a fortnight. And today, they've lost by 79 points. So the final quarter was dead even.